So we have the RF Captain MiG 200, and this is a 200 amp rated machine, six in one, which means you can do gasless welding, flux core, you could do MiG welding, you could do stick welding, lift TIG, spot welding, and it's also spool gun ready. And you can find more information at artcaptain.com. So we're gonna do an unboxing and a review, and let's unbox this and see what's inside. So we got the R-Captain manual here for the MiG-200. We got the warranty card. We got the, the website, rcaptain.com. And we have a way to contact them. Service at rcaptain.com. We got two bag of accessories here. We got tips, tools, nozzles. We got some wheels there. We have this plug. So we can use the machine on 110 volts. The machine has a male... 220 volt plug on the back we have an electrode holder and the cable on here is 16 millimeters we got our earth ground we got our gas hose we got the MiG-15 torch All right, so let's take a peek inside and see how she looks. Here's the feeding mechanism, all metal. We got a dry roller here, V groove. You can accommodate 10 pound spools. There's a nice setup guide in here. Pause the video if you wanna take some notes. Here's the backside, on and off. Here's the plug, and here's a little bit more information. All right, so we're gonna pour on the MiG-200 and go through the menu. I haven't read the manual, so I'm sure I'm gonna leave a lot of things out, but let's see what we can find out. So we got a lot of buttons here. We're gonna start on mode. That's MMA or stick welding, lift TIG, spool gun, and MiG welding. So we're going to start here on the MMA. And on this mode, we only adjust the amperage up to 180. Switch over to lift TIG. And once again, only the amperage can be adjusted. Goes to 200 amps. Your spool gun, you can adjust your voltage. Your wire speed. Two T, four T, spot welding, and once again your hard and soft setting there, in case you want a a wet weld or whatever you want to call it. Um, and the last one, your MIG setting. All right, so we go ahead and. Uh, adjust our amperage here and our voltage changes so we're probably on synergic mode there we go so if you want to adjust individually your voltage or your wire speed you can do that select your 2t 4t your spot weld the gas does not uh i guess you can't select it in that mode synergic you adjust your amperage and it moves automatically your voltage and here we can select our wire thickness and this one here might be for the gas and I think that's pretty much it so we're gonna stick to 170 amps here for 316 0.9 wire MIG mode uh, mixed gas and 2T
Now at the beginning, I had a lot of uh, a lot of popping there where I'm trying to adjust uh, what do you call it the the wire speed. So I kind of like the way the, the push came out. This one started a bit cold here, not too much heat on the bottom. And then my, my wire speed, well, my movement speed kept uh, changing. So, you know, I was going fast, slow down, fast, slow down. Now this machine, I believe is a 60% uh, duty cycle, which means you can weld for six minutes, four minutes off. And uh, I'm not gonna let it rest when I do those two welds and these two. And for those that watch my channel, um, it's very rare you're going to see me MIG welding. So, all this is just practice to me. So once again, pushing, first weld, second weld. Pushing and then dragging. Whew. It's hot. Alright guys, so that's a lot of little uh, tack welds or spot welds, 169, so I'm going to lay uh, one bead here and then sickle one on top just to uh, put about two or three minutes of burn time on the, the torch here. And y'all can see there where the wire seems really flexible. So we're 179, 160 here.
See, the cable's about a 70, 90, 100 here at the machine. Here about 90 degrees. All right, so here is the Art Captain clamp, and this is from a Yes Water machine. It's uh, pretty beat up already. But we're going to see how this 25 millimeter cable does against the 16 millimeter. All right, once again, 98 degrees, 102, 95. Ninety six, it's kind of hard to see the difference here, but one's way bigger than the other. So, yeah, all right, guys. So, we're gonna do the review here on the Art Captain MiG 200, and this is gonna be my opinion on the machine after testing it. And we're gonna start off with the positive things first. And one of the things I like about this machine is being a six in one and the spot welding setting there or mode is something that caught my attention. Not many machines have that. Now, another positive is the machine's capable of running 10 pound spools. The feeding mechanism is mostly metal here and there's a nice light there that stays on while the machine is powered on. Now, I also like that the machine has a 220 volt plug on here. And while I like that, I do feel that this cord is a bit small. And I think that's pretty much it for the positives. Now, on the negatives, I want to start up with the setup guide here. While I think it has a lot of information, it does have a lot of things in millimeter. And I believe that if we're selling this machine in the US, we should have something in inches there versus a millimeter. You know, material thickness. I don't know what two millimeters is or five millimeters. So I had to go do a conversion and post it on there for you guys. Now, some people might need it, some might not. And another negative, was the original ground cable on here. So let's go back to it. And I've been running the machine for about an hour. And this is MIG welding, arc welding, having the machine on, you know, setting it up. And this ground cable here has like two years of use. This was from a Yes Welder MIG 205DS. It is beat up, but there's no discoloration or damage to the cable 25 millimeter 16 millimeter you know here's the torch it's a nice torch no issues there and i do think the machine is a um budget friendly you know entry level has a lot of features but if i were to do some changes i would start with the ground cable even this little jumper here you know spend a few bucks more and uh, have something that's not going to heat up as easily the machine uh, ran nicely there was no uh, signs of high heat in there and other than that guys i think the r captain mig 200 ran excellent and i would recommend it for anybody looking for an entry level mig welder and just remember the ground cable might get warm if you do six minutes of constant welding at 170 165 amps but other than that um, that's pretty much it for this video and um, hopefully i provided enough information and answered most of the questions y'all might have had so see you on the next video bye bye